Bright Star by John Keats Bright Star, would I were steadfast as thou art, not in lone splendour hung aloft the night, and watching with eternal lids apart, like nature's patient, sleepless eremite, the moving waters at their priest-like task of pure ablution round earth's human shores, or gazing on the new soft-fallen mask of snow upon the mountains and the moors, no, yet still steadfast, still unchangeable, pillowed upon my fair love's ripening breast, to feel for ever its soft swell and fall, awake for ever in a sweet unrest, still, still, to hear her tender taken breath, and so live ever, or else swoon to death. Love's Philosophy by Percy Bysshe Shelley The fountains mingle with the river, and the rivers with the ocean. The winds of heaven mix forever with a sweet emotion. Nothing in the world is single. All things by a law divine in one spirit meet and mingle. Why not I with thine? See the mountains kiss high heaven, and the waves clasp one another. No sister flower would be forgiven if it disdained its brother. And the sunlight clasps the earth, and the moonbeams kiss the sea. What are all these kissings worth, if thou kiss not me? First Corinthians, chapter 13, verses 4 through 8. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Meeting at Night by Robert Browning The grey sea and the long black land And the yellow half-moon large and low And the startled little waves that leap In fiery ringlets from their sleep As I gain the cove with pushing prow And quench its speed the slushy sand Then a mile of warm sea-scented beach Three fields to cross till a farm appears a tap at the pane, the quick sharp scratch, and blue spurt of a lighted match, and a voice less loud through joys and fears than the two hearts beating each to each. The Dream by Edna St. Vincent Millay Love, if I weep, it will not matter, and if you laugh, I shall not care. Foolish am I to think about it, but it is good to feel you there. Love, in my sleep I dreamed of waking. White and awful the moonlight reached over the floor, and somewhere, somewhere there was a shutter loose. It screeched, swung in the wind, and no wind blowing. I was afraid and turned to you, put out my hand to you for comfort, and you were gone, cold, cold as dew. Under my hand the moonlight lay. Love, if you laugh I shall not care, but if I weep it will not matter. Ah, it is good to feel you there. The Passionate Shepherd to His Love by Christopher Marlowe Come live with me, and be my love, 
and we will all the pleasures prove, that valleys, groves, hills, and fields, woods, or steepy mountain yields, and we will sit upon the rocks, seeing the shepherds feed their flocks, by shallow rivers to whose falls melodious birds sing madrigals. And I will make thee beds of roses, and a thousand fragrant posies, a cap of flowers, and a kirtle, embroidered all with leaves of myrtle, a gown made of the finest wool which from our pretty lambs we pull, fair lined slippers for the cold, with buckles of the purest gold, a belt of straw and ivy buds, with coral clasps and amber studs, and if these pleasures may thee move, come live with me, and be my love. The shepherd's swains shall dance and sing, for thy delight each May morning. If these delights thy mind may move, then live with me, and be my love. I Carry Your Heart by E. E. Cummings I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I am never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear. And whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate, for you are my fate, my sweet. I want no world, for beautiful you are my world. My true, and it's you. Ah, whatever a moon has always meant, and whatever a sun will always sing, is you. Here is the deepest secret nobody knows. Here is the root of the root, and the bud of the bud, and the sky of the sky of a tree called life which grows higher than soul can hope or mind can hide. And this is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. She Walks in Beauty by Lord Byron She walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies, and all that's best of dark and bright meet in her aspect and her eyes, thus mellowed to that tender light which heaven to gaudy day denies. One shade the more, one ray the less, had half impaired the nameless grace which waves in every raven tress or softly lightens o'er her face where thoughts serenely sweet express how pure, how dear their dwelling place. And on that cheek, and o'er that brow, so soft, so calm, yet eloquent, the smiles that win, the tints that glow, but tell of days in goodness spent, a mind at peace with all below, a heart whose love is innocent. Give All to Love by Ralph Waldo Emerson Give all to love. Obey thy heart. Friends, kindred, days, estate, good fame, plans, credit, and the muse, nothing refuse. Tis a brave master. Let it have scope, follow it utterly, hope beyond hope. High and more high, it dives into noon with wing unspent, untold intent, but it is a god, knows its own path and the outlets of the sky. It was never for the mean. It requireth courage stout, souls above doubt, valor unbending. It will reward, they shall return more than they were and ever ascending. Leave all for love, yet hear me, yet one word more, by heart behoved, one pulse more of firm endeavor, 
keep thee today, tomorrow, forever, free as an Arab of thy beloved. Cling with life to the maid, but when the surprise, first vague shadow of surmise flits across her bosom young, of a joy apart from thee, free be she, fancy free, nor thou detain her vestious hem, nor the palest rose she flung from her summer diadem. Though thou loved her as thyself, as a self of purer clay, though her parting dims the day, stealing grace from all alive, heartily know, when half-gods go, the gods arrive.'"